You might call that staring mortality in the face. When I was getting, when I was waking this morning, I had this most horrible cramp in the left calf. And it's, I can still feel the pain, but this morning it woke me up. It was so bad. It's like a Charlie horse is what we call them. And then later in the day, my upper uh, right bicep, and it's still sore too because I can feel it. But all of a sudden, it's like the lactic acid builds up in your muscle and it just kills you. It's like stabbing, stabbed. Unless somebody has a voodoo doll and they're stabbing it. But I felt so bummed out and so depressed. I talked to my brother from Atlanta yesterday. He was getting measure wants measurements so that they can buy mom something nice for her birthday. But by the time I got over there, which was still early in the day, it was like 6 p.m. and she was in bed already because they thought it was later than it was. And so I didn't accomplish that. When I don't accomplish things, I feel like I'm failing. And the more and more things that need attention and I can't do anything about, I feel more and more of a failure. So I stayed in bed and cried a lot today. There's plenty to be done. But then I looked out the window because the cat sits at the window and looks out and I noticed a giant moving truck down the street. One of Scott's buddies, their family moved out today. I didn't know anything about it. I walk by there a lot and I see the mister out and but no one said anything about anything. They just all moved. This neighborhood is becoming more vacant houses and more undesirable people moving in. So, I mean, I know that happens in, in a city. I, I just, it's just more negativity. I don't need that. I need someone there. I need someone's arm around me. I need, I need some... I need to be able to get through stuff, and I just can't I feel like a failure. All my whole life, I have been the, the breadwinner of my family. My ex didn't like to work. He didn't want to work, so he didn't work. I have been the sole breadwinner of my family for years. And uh, to not be able to find something that I can do that can utilize... I keep hearing noises like there's somebody in the house. I just, I'm just, I don't know what to do. Things are happening and there's nothing I can do about it. I can't do anything for people that don't listen either. My brother and my mom, they have things that need attending but they won't listen and they won't do what they're supposed to do. I don't know what to do. They don't they know what to do, but they won't do it. So everyone's got their thing, I know, and uh I don't know. <laughs>